This is not a trial of who was a good husband and who was a good wife, okay? Because we all know neither one of them were. And it definitely seems like she put out hit pieces on him to in order to boost her own self. Johnny Depp's team interviewed or called to the stands the cops that were called to Johnny Depp's penthouse suite. Did you have a clear view of her face? Yes. Did you perceive any signs of injury to her face on that second occasion? No. There was no sign of a crime that had been committed. And because of that, they didn't even write a police report. And then Officer William Gatlin was called to the stand. Now, these officers are the ones that had body cameras on them. And when they went into the apartment, you guys can see in this video here, like there was nothing out of place. There was no evidence of a crime. Now, another witness's video testimony was presented. This was a man named Alejandro who worked at the building where Johnny Depp owned this penthouse. He said he spoke with Amber multiple times and that he did not notice any red swelling, any bruises, anything on her face, okay? Now, this is especially important because this is right around the time where this picture had come out. Where Amber went down and filed for not only a restraining order, but she also, you know, said that Johnny had threw this phone and hit her in the face. And this guy, along with the officers that had been there, nobody seen marks on Amber's face. Nobody. Then this is another part that I found very interesting. Johnny Depp's agent testified to the negative effects that Amber Heard's allegations had on Johnny Depp's career. Why does this matter? Why is this important? Because the whole entire trial is a defamation lawsuit. I know it feels a lot like a who was abusive, who was, but really at the end of it, the whole core of it is defamation. Johnny Depp saying that Amber Heard's lies and allegations that he is saying is not true is what crippled and ruined his career that he built over 40 years. But he was saying that, yes, the allegations when Amber Heard put out that Washington Post and the restraining order and the court, all that stuff, that's when Johnny Depp's career started to take a nosedive. The agent said that he had become friends friends with Amber Heard over time. They text each other, da 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 after the restraining order was filed. Amber Heard gets in touch with Johnny Depp's agent and is begging his agent to set up a meeting between her and Johnny Depp. He's like, there's a, but there's a restraining order. Like you can't be around him. And if you are, you could call the cops and he could go to jail. And she was begging to meet up with Johnny. At some point around that time, she wanted me to arrange for them to get together. She promised me and told me to relay to him that she would never accuse him of violating the restraining order as a result of agreeing to meet her. When they get there to talk, what do you think happens? They start to argue. Nothing was solved. It just ended up being another fight. The reason why to me that's so important is if Amber was this DV victim, why would she go and put a restraining order and then beg to have a meeting with him? You know what I mean? You know what that makes me think? feel like or think, it makes me feel like she's playing games. If you are truly concerned for your safety or need that person to be away from you, the last thing you're gonna do is go and beg to talk to them. Now on Thursday, which was day 11 of the trial, this is when the representatives for ACLU testified. Now, if you guys don't know what ACLU is, it is the American Civil Liberties Union. And this is the place that Amber Heard was supposed to donate $3.5 million. When Amber Heard and Johnny Depp got a divorce, she got $7 million in their divorce, okay? Because of that, people in the public was really coming at her being like, you were with him for 15 months. And her alleged PR move was to tell the public, I don't care about that money. It was never about the money. I'm donating that money anyway. So she said, I'm donating $3.5 million to this charity and 3.5 to this charity. Well, ACLU has come to testify that she has not given them that $3.5 million. She didn't give them the money. And not only did she not give them the money, $1.3 million was donated in the name of Amber, okay? Like in Amber's behalf. But check this out, $500,000 of that 1.3 million that was donated to this charity was donated by allegedly 
Elon Musk. Why in the world would Elon Musk donate $500,000 to a charity in the name of Amber Heard? Because see, he donates to this charity too in his own name, his own business name. So it's not like he's just wanting to donate to them and said, oh, I'll do my friend a favor or my ex-girlfriend a favor. He did it in to go against that 3.5 million she told them that she would donate. Seems weird. As a matter of fact, in that $1.3 million, 100,000 of it came from Johnny Depp in the name of Amber Heard. Another 350 came from Fidelity. It's like all these other people were donating in the name of Amber Heard. And it's like, why? We know that Amber Heard and Elon Musk had a thing. And there's a lot of rumors going on around about this situation right now too. What's also interesting is when this charity came to Amber and asked her about like her donations and when she was going to finish, you know, setting up the donation schedule or whatever. She told them in 2019 that she was having financial difficulties. We um, reached out to Ms. Hurd's starting in 2019 for the next um, installment of her giving and um, we learned that she was having financial difficulties. Financial difficulties, you got the money. You said you didn't need the money. Why are you, you know what I mean? So it really looks like as of now, of course, Amber hasn't told her side yet, but it really looks like as of now that Amber did that all for a PR stunt, said she was gonna donate it and hope that it was gonna go under the rug, but here it is in court. On day 11 of the trial, one of the people that testified from the ACLU talked about that op-ed that was wrote in the Washington Post. And they actually had um, a little bit of a hand in that writing for the Washington Post. As a matter of fact, what allegedly happened was the article was written up, okay? And there was a lot more details in there about Johnny Depp, the divorce, and the restraining order. And isn't it true that Ms. Hurd's advisors initially revised the draft to remove any reference to Ms. Hurd's marriage or divorce? I recall a number of email communications back and forth among um, ACLU personnel and Ms. Hurd's attorneys where they were um, suggesting edits to the op-ed relating to um, matters covered in the MDA. Amber allegedly, according to these people, asked, literally request that this Washington Post op-ed go up right after Aquaman was released. When her legal team read what she wrote, they had to take out pieces because they're like, whoa, 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 you're gonna get sued for this. So they took out the pieces about like the restraining order and other things. And then when they went back over it with the ACLU people, that's when they told Amber, listen, the articles that do the most and get the most attention are gonna be the ones that have or reference people that are higher up or bigger celebrities. So what they were saying without saying, in my own words, was like, listen, Amber, if you want this article to get read and do good, you gotta make it very clear that you're talking about Johnny Depp because he is a big, big star. So after that, they put more stuff back into the article that would make it, you know, make people do exactly what happened. Talk about Johnny Depp without saying it was Johnny Depp. So this right here shows that the article was intentional. And not only was it intentional, but it was strategic because she asked them to release it right after Aquaman, her biggest movie role, went out. So you guys, this is not a trial of who was a good husband and who was a good wife, okay? Because we all know neither one of them were. This is a defamation lawsuit. And it definitely seems like she put out hit pieces on him to in order to boost her own self. I mean, it's it's just really it's crazy.